What's up team? Today we're going to talk about 3M reflective films and one film I'm a huge fan of is the 3M 780MC. Now the reason why we're talking about 3M reflective films is I need to rewrap the fender on my Tahoe and I may have gone into a small fender bender and it had to get repainted. So I did wait a month after my fender was repainted because I wanted to make sure the paint was off gas before I installed. Now if I didn't, well let's just say I have a video out shortly on what happens when you don't give the paint a chance to off gas. For today's video, I'm going to share my five top tips you should do when handling 3M reflective films. So the idea is to make it easy for you to feel more comfortable installing without getting those ugly dark spots in the film, which in the industry we call bruising. Number five, removing the release liner can be pretty difficult sometimes. And especially for reflective, if we try to remove this and it starts to wrinkle the reflective, we can actually have zipper lines and those can cause bruising. So let's do an easy way to remove the release liner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this in half. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw a line about an inch away on both sides. I'm gonna remove it, the release liner while it's on the weeding table. And then we're just gonna place it right on. The reason why we left the middle here is that, as you can see, this does not stick. And I don't want the release liner to fall off. So let's do this side here. Okay, and stop at the line here, which now leaves this center part stuck to the reflective. And now we can roll this up and bring it to the vehicle. So now that we've got this all lined up, you can see how easy this liner comes off without any zipper lines. Done. So here's tip number four, wet your squeegee. If you do not wet your squeegee, every time you squeegee, you're gonna start wrinkling the film. And if your squeegee is gliding, it won't allow for any wrinkles. So that also goes with your glove, but as you can see, I have this wrap glove and it's called the ghost glove. And what that allows is that we don't have to wet our glove. And by doing that, we're able to heat this up and push it down without any wrinkles. Let's show you. You can see how that just slid right across. On to tip number three, using the liner slitter. Using the liner slitter could potentially damage the vapor coat of the reflective. By doing this, you could damage your panel and have to reprint, which could be costly. So here's the damage that has been done to the reflective by the liner slitter. As you can see, those black marks are not gonna look good on your final outcome. On to tip number two, Finger placement is crucial. As you can see, my finger is dragging along the adhesive, damaging the vapor coat. Now there's ways to avoid that. Let's show you how. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab a piece of film here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a piece. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to hold the adhesive, the vinyl, outside that work, work area. So let's try that. So I'm gonna hold here. Now I'm able to bring it and attach it to the outside of my work area so wherever my film's touching my paint, it will not leave a bruise. So the number one tip in handling reflective is actually checking for bruising. So what we're gonna do is gonna put it on my video. I'm gonna turn on the light and I'm gonna check for bruising. Now, because I, this was my final installation, I wanted to make sure I didn't get any bruising, which I didn't. So I'm gonna set up something on the table to show you 
how to fix bruising if you do see it. So if you have to lift up the film after installing, do not worry. Lift it up and then reapply it. You can see you're going to leave that bruise on there. Now, all you would need to do is take the heat gun and heat the bruise out. And that's it. So there you have it. If you want to know more about 3M reflective films or 3M films in general, please click on the links below. Otherwise, catch you later in those next videos.